Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to find if your hard drive is configured as MBR or GPT. Uh, so when you add a new hard drive, you have an option to make it MBR or GPT. So there are some differences. So the MBR is the older format, while GPT is the newer format, which you should be using. So as you can see here in this little chart here, the difference is like the maximum partition capacity, 2 terabytes compared to 9.4 zettabytes. So more than you'll ever need. Maximum partition numbers, 4 compared to 128. Firmware support, BIOS versus UEFI, UEFI being the newer uh, style. Operating system support, uh, Windows 7 and older. And then, of course, 10 and 11 for GPT. So the way you could check, actually two ways to check. So if you want to do a search for disk management, so you can see here we have three hard drives, disk zero, this is the Windows drive, and here's a 20 gig drive and a 30 gig drive. So to see, so if you right click on the gray part here, if you do it from up here, it's not going to show you. You've got to go to properties down here and go to volumes. You can see that this one is GPT. That's disk zero, GPT, and then this disk two. This is MBR. So that's one way. Then you can also do a uh, run disk part. So make sure you don't put the space or don't put a space there. It's all one word. So it's a run command here. And then you can do list, list disk. And so if it's GPT, it'll have a star. If it's MBR, it'll, it'll have nothing. So that's a quick way to find out as well. So what if you want to change one? So if we go back to disk management, if you right click on one here, you'll see that convert to GP disk is grayed out, so you can't do it from here. So if you want to do it while Windows is running here, there's a free program called Naube Partition Editor. So this does a lot of cool stuff. There's a pay for version too, but the free version will work for this. So you just download it and install it and run it. And then here you can see GPT, GPT, and MBR. So what we're going to do is we have these files here in our one disk. We're going to paste them over to this MBR disk, and that way we'll do the conversion with the files there to make sure everything's okay when we're done. So when this is done uh, copying over, we'll be right back. Okay, so we copied some files over here, and let's see what we got. So if we go to the properties. We have 9.99 gigabytes and 5,900 files, so we will take a picture of that. Okay, we'll close this out and close this out and close this out. All right, so we got our picture here, so we have something to refer to when we go back. So what we're going to do here is on this MBR, we're going to right-click on it and convert to GPT disk. Say yes. Okay, so it has to try and lock the volume. So if you have something open on it, it might not lock it. So make sure you have everything closed that you have going on with that disk. So once you do that, it's not done until you actually apply. So it's going to say close all of the applications before you apply the changes. Click OK. So that's done. Okay, so let's minimize this here. All right, so here's our shot from before we did the conversion. And then we'll go back over to that disk. Okay, so everything looks the same, same size, same number of files, so it looks like it worked. So that's the easy way to do it. There's also another way if you're into the more technical stuff here, so you can, using this MBR to GPT thing. It's a full command thing, and you have to run it in the uh, Windows pre-installation environment, so it's a little bit of a setup there and you know, a lot of syntax there. So this is a way you could do it too if you want. And you should be able to do this on your Windows system drive, I believe, as well. I'm not sure if this will work on the system drive without causing problems, if, you're, if this is set up as MBR. 
So you'll have to find out yourself if you want to take a chance on that. Anyways, I'll put a link in the description for this software here, and then you could download it and try it out and then convert your disks to a GPD. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.